You know, I travel more than 55 countries, and Quran and Hadith they prohibit the idol worship. But you go, you other religion, Christianity, uh, this one, uh, Buddhism, and Chinese religion, Jainism, all other religion they have idol worship. And you know, Muslim, maybe they are 15 to 20 percent in this world, total, per percentage wise. And so, other people are wrong. You know, Christian, one minute. Uh, any Anglican Church or Russian Orthodox or Greek Orthodox or Catholic or Protestant, you know, Chinese, they have the big statue of the God. So all, all they are wrong? Brother asked a very good question. He saying the Muslims are approximately 15-20%, some say 25%, whatever it is. You say 15%, 20%, I've got no problem. So he's telling that Christians, they do idol worship. Fine, I agree with you. He says that Buddhism, create big statue. What do you think they're wrong? Brother, the majority doesn't win in Islam. In Islam, the truth prevails. The majority people, a couple of hundred years ago, said the world was flat. Majority. Do you know that? Majority of the people, few hundred years back, said the world is flat. Is the world flat, Brother Mahesh? No. Nah. Nah. So majority people can be wrong. In Islam, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 81, وَقُلْ جَالْ حَقَّ وَزَاقَ الْبَاطِلْ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ قَانَ زَوْكَ Say that truth has arrived and falsehood perish. For falsehood is by its nature bound to perish. Therefore in Islam, majority never wins. If you go to America, in America, pornography is legalized. Do you believe in pornography? Uh, no, so many countries, no, no, European don't, countries. No, no, do you believe in pornography? With the mice? I don't believe. No, very good, very good you mean me. I congratulate you. But the majority of people in the Western world believe in pornography. So will you believe in pornography? Will you see pornography? Very good. Good boy. See, you are close to the truth. So majority never wins. As far as you say, in Christianity, idol worship is there. In Christianity, idol worship is not there. Christians do idol worship. Like some Muslims do wrong things. If you read the Christian Bible, which you have read the Christian Bible, I'm sure, it's mentioned in the Bible, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 5, verse number 7, 8 and 9, Thou shalt not have any graven image of me, Almighty God, He's telling, in the Old Testament, Thou shalt have no graven image of me, of anything, of any likeness, in the heaven above, in the earth beneath, and the water beneath the earth. Thou shalt not serve them, nor bow down to them, for I, thy God, thy Lord, is a jealous God. Same message repeated in the book of Exodus. Chapter number 20, verse number 3 to 5. That thou shalt have no graven image of me, of anything, of any likeness, in the heaven above, in the earth beneath, in the water beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to them, nor serve them. For I, thy God, thy Lord, is a jealous God. So according to the Old Testament, idol worship is prohibited. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 7 to 20. Think not that I have come to destroy the law of the prophets. I have come not to destroy, but to fulfill. Whosoever shall break one of the least commandments and teach me to do so, shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever shall keep the commandments, shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, in no way shall you enter the kingdom of heaven. That means if you want to enter the kingdom of heaven, according to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, you have to follow each and every law of the Old Testament, of Moses, peace be upon him. No making images of Almighty God. Yet they make. Why? All the Christians don't make. The Protestants don't make. Your knowledge of Christians is a bit less. You are a student yet. The Catholics, they make. They make a statue. That's the reason the Protestants, they protest. What you're doing is wrong. So according to the Bible, you should not make images of Almighty God. I agree with you. Most of the Hindus, they do idol worship. And I quoted earlier, Of that God, there is no pratima. There are no images. There are no sculptures. There are no statues. Brother, do you do idol worship? I am doing, no. Ah, but you're not following the Veda. Because I believe in all religion, all they I are believe same. all the religion. You know, God knows because, you know, God knows this, all religion. Brother, you know, if no. you are believing in now, all the religions, no. that thing. means irrespective whether you are following other religions or not, you are not following Hinduism. Brother, you are not no, following no, Hinduism. What I am telling you, God is sleeping now. He knows everything. He created all the earth and heaven. So he knows every religion have their own place, like Islam. Brother, let's ask one question at a time.
There's a big queue there. I will answer your next question. After that, go behind the queue. You are most welcome to ask me. Fine. You are that is God sleeping. Allah gives this answer in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number two fifty-five. Allah says, "Allah hu la ilaha illa qayyum la taqoodinatam wa la naum." That Allah is eternal, absolute. He is self-subsisting. He does not require to sleep. No slumber can seize him. Nor does he require rest. You and I require to sleep. You and I require rest. God does not require to sleep. Allah clearly says in the Quran, if He wanted, He could have made each and every human being, except Islam, submit to the will. If He wanted, very easy, just kun fa kun. But this is a test for the hereafter. God is testing you. God is testing me. If God wants, He can easily make you not do idol worship. But where is the test? The test is God has given you the rules. Now, do you follow the rule or not? You say you follow all the religions. You are not following Hinduism. You are not following Islam. You are not following Christianity. You are not following Sikhism. You are not following Buddhism. Buddhism. Quote me any reference from Dhamma Pad, from any Buddhist scriptures where Buddha said, "Make a statue of me." He never said that. Where did he say that? Tomorrow, suppose. Tomorrow, if any Muslim makes a statue of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, if he makes a statue and calls the Muslim, I say it's wrong. The Prophet never said I make a statue of him. So just because someone diverts and does the wrong thing. Whether he is in minority or majority, that does not become the truth. Buddha never said make a statue of him. So if someone is against the Buddhist sculptures, they are helping the Buddhists follow the religion. So just because they made a big statue of Buddha, that does not mean they are following Buddha. Therefore, I said, if you want to understand religion, don't look at followers. Brother Mahesh, don't look at me. Look at the scriptures. Look at the Quran. Read the Quran. Read the Veda. At least what is common, follow. What is not common? Keep it aside. If you say you follow all the religions, you're not following Hinduism. You're not following Christianity. You're not following Islam. Leave aside all. I am requesting you at least follow what is common. What is not common, you can discuss later on. You are not even following what is common. Leave aside following all the religions. So the day you stop doing idol worship, then I can say at least you are following one major part of all the religions. The day you believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as the last messenger, then I can say you are following the two major pillars in most of the major religions. Hope that answers the question. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Can we? Have